hello friends in the current video tutorial I will be talking about insert array function which is a very good function available in lab view in arrays palette this function is used to insert arrays or elements into the existing array mind it it is not replace function it is insert into array function none of the elements get deleted and none of the elements get replaced but the elements new elements or new arrays are inserted into the array so this is inserting function array uh, inserting function and uh, it is uh, useful when you don't want to delete the existing elements of the array but insert a new element or new array into the existing array so let's see this is insert into array function this is available into the array at this position insert into array I have taken 50 elements and this forms the original 1d array then I have chosen index for modification where the element has to be inserted this is 1d array and this is the element to be inserted and this is the modified 1d array let's see index for modification I choose at let's say 6 so the seventh element would go one step down and 0 would be inserted uh, over there uh, let's do something else let's one to be inserted so you see the seventh element has gone down index for modification is seven so this is the seventh place and one has been inserted into the array and none of the elements of the existing array has been deleted 50 elements was there in this 51 elements are there because one element has been inserted into the array this is 1d array and this is another 1d array which is the modifier array index for modification is chosen and this modifier array modifies the original 1d array and this is the modified 1d array so let's choose some index for modification seventh element would be it starting from the seventh row the element would be modified so you see that seventh place is this index chosen is six so this place would be seventh because the index is starts from zero so at seventh place 10 elements have been inserted total number of elements have become 20 in the original array the elements were 10 modified array has elements 10 so the total elements have become 20 let's now go to the two dimensional arrays this is the original 2d array I've used initialized array function to generate an original 2d array and this is insert into array this is a array one dimensional array which I am going to use as a modifier array and row index for modification is there and 
this is the modified 2d array so let's see this is the modifier array let's write it modifier array row index for modification is let's say six let's run the program so you see that at the seventh position the elements of the original array have been shifted one place down and this 1d array has been inserted at the seventh row let's see if we can insert the column again the same type of program has been created in place of row we have wired it to the column and this is the array 1d array which is the modifier 1d array let's write it down here also array and column index for modification is there modifier array is there original 2d array is there and this is the modified array so let's choose the column for index modification as the sixth uh, index and seventh column where the modifier array would be inserted this is the original array you see at the seventh column the column elements have been shifted one place ahead and this modifier array has been inserted into the 2d array now i have chosen a 2d array as a modifier array this is the modifier array which is a 2d array and this is the original 1d array this is the row index for modification and this is the modified 2d array let's see let's choose the row index for modification as 6 which is the seventh row onwards so you see that at the seventh row we have the modifier array inserted into the original 1d array and since it is a lesser dimension array than the original array zeros have been inserted at the places where there are no elements in the modifier array similarly we can insert modifier array at the column index let's select the column index for modification as 6 let's see the program i have chosen column index for modification and row index is disabled so only one index can be in plugged into so let's see the program
so you see at the seventh column position this modifier array has been inserted and the remaining elements at which modifier array has not any elements zero zeros have been inserted so this is all about array inserting function available in labview i hope you have liked this video thanks for watching this video